So now let's do a basic water chemistry example that involves neutralization. So this is going to be somewhat involved, but we'll run through this together. So here what's happening is we're given a water quality report has the following compound concentrations. So the compounds and we're given the concentrations in milligram per liter, right? This is strictly milligram per liter. Sometimes we see milligram per liter as calcium carbonate. Here we're strictly looking at milligram per liter and we're given the concentrations for the compounds. So we're told for a 40 milliliter sample, the volume in milliliter of 0 0.03 N. So this N means normality, normality, and we'll get into that definition as we proceed. And this is 0 0.03 N of the sulfuric acid, right? That would need it to neutralize the bicarbonate alkalinity is most nearly what? Well. So we have to understand what we what we're being asked here. We need to find the volume of sulfuric acid at this normality that is needed to neutralize the bicarbonate alkalinity. So how much is needed to neutralize the alkalinity? So if we quickly write what we're given here, we're given that we have this 40 milliliter sample and this, if we draw a picture here, so let's say I have a flask and we have 40 milliliter. So this, and I'll call this, in my solution, I used V1. I'm just going to call it V1. And you'll see how this is going to be relevant as we proceed and use that equation. So that's the volume of the sample. And we're told it has an alkalinity value, right? So this sample is going to have some bicarbonate alkalinity. And this bicarbonate alkalinity is given as a concentration here, right? So we're given a lot of information, so we have to extract what's significant, which is only the 85 here. Because alkalinity, we know it's going to be the bicarbonate ion. If we're determining alkalinity, it's approximation, but it's good enough for this example. So we're only using the bicarbonate always for alkalinity. So we take this value. So we know this sample of water here is going to have an alkalinity value which is the bicarbonate ion and it's going to be 85 milligram per liter. Okay, so we have that and what else do we have? We have the this 0 0.03 N, right? This is the normality of sulfuric acid. So what we're essentially trying to do is add some sulfuric acid. So we're trying to dump a certain amount of sulfuric acid here and we know it has a normality, I'll call it N2, capital N is always normality, of 0 0.03. And again, this is sulfuric acid, H2SO4. That's what we're trying to add to neutralize the water and specifically for the alkalinity, right? The bicarbonate alkalinity. So that's N2, the normality of this. But what we're trying to find here, let's write this as a fine. So everything here in this figure is a given and what we want to find is the volume needed for the sulfuric acid and this is, let's call it volume 2. I'm going to say we're going to add some volume 2 here, a certain amount that we want to determine. The volume in milliliter, ML. That's what we want to find here. So how do we begin? So what I recommend is first we have to understand the some concept and the meaning behind normality. So real quickly, let's define that normality is the number of equivalent weights per liter of solution. So what we do here, all we have to do is N, capital N is the normality and you can think of normality as the strength, as strength. And we know it depends on the, this equals to the M value times N. M is going to be the molarity in mole per liter of the specific compound we're looking at, right? 
and N is going to be the number of hydrogen ions that a molecule transfers. So this N value is the number of hydrogen ions that are transferred in the reaction. So here let's look at two quick examples and compare the two. So on the left side we have sulfuric acid which is what we're looking at in our, our, our question here and this is hydrochloric acid. So we know the N value is the number of hydrogen ions. It's going to be 2, right? We have a 2. That's the amount that's going to be transferred. Capital M, I'm just going to assume 1. So for each case, it's just 1 mole per liter. And for the same here, for HCl, it's 1 mole per liter. And capital N is just going to be M times N. So 2 times 1 it's just 2n and this one the n value here lowercase n the number of hyd hydrogen ions is going to be 1 right so there's just one of these so here 1 times 1 is just 1n so you can see how the normality here is bigger than this it's actually two times stronger so it's gonna neutralize two times better or stronger so that's what that means. It's two times stronger than hydrochloric acid. So sulfuric acid has a bigger strength when we're considering neutralization. So that's all that means when we're looking at normality. And the units for normality are going to be equivalent per liter. Because this is mole per liter, right? And this N value is the specifically equivalent per mole and if you do the final units we're gonna get equivalent per liter and that's our normality so that's the definition there I hope that's sufficient enough for us as we do this example so what do we do next now let's write our solution here and what I'm gonna propose is a certain equation so we know what we can do here is take volume 1 times N1 which is the normality for the water sample and this water sample is gonna have a normality right and it's gonna be N1 but we're not given this that's why it's gonna be tricky and it'll take some time to determine that so we can find N1 volume 1 we know is 40 is going to equal to volume 2 which is the volume that we need to add for the sulfuric acid right volume 2 and this will be N2 so you can think of this as the con conservation of mass or energy so that we know that the water sample is going to have a volume 1 N1 and to completely neutralize this side of the equation we need to input some volume 2 N2 and ends here again are normalities so what do we do now we know that volume 1 is 40 milliliters n1 we do not know volume 2 is what we want to find so this is what we want to find in the question and n2 is given to be 0.03 and to the normality for sulfuric acid is 0 0.03 so this is essentially the neutralization capacity or the strength so now we need to find n1 then we can find v2 right which is what we, our goal here so how do we find n1 so we know again normality is n times m so let's write n1 equals n times m and here be careful here this is for what it's not for sulfuric acid this is for bicarbonate right because we know the sample here is going to have an alkalinity that we're trying to neutralize that's what we're focusing on and it's going to depend on the bicarbonate ion so what's the lowercase n for bicarbonate it's just one right it's just one hydrogen ion so it's just one here so n equals 1 and now the tricky part is uppercase M which is the molarity but we know for the molarity we're gonna need the molecular weight of bicarbonate so molarity of 
essentially the bicarbonate ion, which is the alkalinity, is going to equal, it's going to depend on the molecular weight. So what we have to take is the alkalinity concentration times the molecular weight. And this would make sense when we actually do the units. So what I'm going to do first is find the molecular weight of bicarbonate. And for that, we take the atomic weights. So for hydrogen, it's 1.0079. So this is all in the periodic table. For the carbon, it's going to be 12.011 on the periodic table. Then plus, we have 3 of oxygen, so 3 times 16. So for that, if you do the math, you should get 61.019 grams per mole. This is the molecular weight for bicarbonate. So we have the molecular weight. What's the alkalinity? At the end, we know we want the capital M, which is mole per liter. So we know capital M for bicarbonate is going to equal to the concentration for the alkalinity, which is going to be the 85 milligram per liter. So we take 85 milligram per liter and we multiply by the molecular weight and this is in gram per mole. So what I'm going to do first is convert the milligram to gram because the molecular weight is in grams, right? So let's convert this. So we have a thousand milligram and one gram. Cancel these out. Then we take the molecular weight. Finally, we plug in here, right? So we take this value and we want this is on top whatever is up must come down right so what must come down is this so it's 61.019 grams the top is for that per one mole and now we can solve for the molecular weight of bicarbonate should equal to about zero Point zero zero one three nine mole per liter. That's the correct units, right, for molarity. So here we know we did it, right? Grams cancel, milligrams cancel, and we have mole per liter at the end. The correct units there. So we have the molecular weight. We're almost done in, for solving for N1. So all we have to do here is we know N1 is going to equal to the N value of 1 and this is that value for n and we multiply that by the molecular weight of bicarbonate which depends on the alkalinity essentially it's our alkalinity there and we multiply it by this right so here n1 is going to equal to just that value so we have our n1 and it's going to be this. Then we can just solve for V2, right? The total sulfuric acid we need. So I'll just do it down here. So what we're going to say is V1, N1, equals to V2, N2. So here we know, so running out of room, but v1 is given above to be the 40 and we found n1 right it's this value so v1 is 40 milliliter n1 is 0 0.00139 and this is specifically for bicarbonate right because we're focusing on alkaline on neutralizing alkalinity and we know this is V2. V2 is what we want to find. The total sulfuric acid we need to add to neutralize that bicarbonate alkalinity. And N2 for sulfuric acid, the normality is what? It's given here 0 0.03. I wrote it here and I wrote it here. So it's 0 0.03. So now all we have to do is solve for V2. And for V2, the total sulfuric acid we need is about 1.85 milliliter. So this should be our answer. And if we go above, it should be C.
That's all. Please subscribe and like. Take care.